What's going on guys, it's your boy Fano here, and in this CSGO video, I'm going to be showcasing a pretty cool CSGO inventory. Its estimated worth is around $100,000, it has some really rare skins in it, and the owner recently crafted an insane $1,000 plus endgame SG craft that I really want to share with you guys. So let's get right into this video, let's start taking a look at some of these skins. The first CSGO skin he has in his inventory is this SG553 Integrale. He recently crafted it with four Simon Gaming foils from Berlin 2019. Nothing particularly insane about this craft, but it does look pretty good. The stickers do match with the skin, but the next skin is what I really want to share with you guys, which is another SG553 Integrale, but this time he has four crown foil stickers. Each of them are going for around $300, and I find it really insane how this person just decided to throw four of these crown foils on this skin. The SG is probably going to get nerfed in the future, and the Integrale's price is arguably going to keep going down as more and more of them get added to the game. Either way, it's still a really nice combo, guys, and I had to share this with you guys. But the next combo is another skin that's relatively new. Of course, I'm talking about the AK-47 Safety Net, and he actually has a pretty nice pattern on this skin, and he also has the Bish Bash Bosch Hollow combo. Nothing too insane, but still a very nice skin nonetheless. And now we move on to the Katowice Crafts, and here we have an M4A4 Emperor Stat Track Factory New, with four Clan Mystique Hollow Katowice 2014 stickers, each of them going for around 4000 $1,000, so you can do the math guys, $16,000 to craft this combo right here, although it does look pretty good. But it gets better, he also has a pretty sick AK-47 Bloodsport Stat Track Factory New with four Reason Gaming Hollows Katowice 2014 stickers, each going for around four to $5,000 for a grand total of around $16,000 to a potentially $20,000 to craft this sticker combo. Pretty insane by our standards, but you know, for the Chinese collectors, this is child play. But it gets better guys, here we have an AWP Medusa Factory New with four Titan Hollow Katowice 2014 stickers, of course each of them going for well over $11,000 each. Enough said. But he also has this really cool case hardened talon knife, blue gem of course, and if you thought that was insane, take a look at this Desert Strike Factory New. It has four Reason Gaming Hollows. Absolute madness, like why would he do this? Oh wait, let me take a look at this float. Hello, look at that low float. I did a little bit of digging guys and I found out that this is the lowest float M4 Desert Strike on CSGO Exchange, so I guess this combo is warranted. Here he has just a random souvenir chalice, because why not? And then he also has another AWP Medusa Factory New, of course. I will say though, his glove game could be improved, he does only have one pair of gloves, and they happen to be the King Snake Minimal Wear. They're still more expensive than my gloves, so I shouldn't be critiquing him, but he could have done better. Moving on, we have a USPS stainless with four Katowice 2014 holo stickers, an LGB esports, a 3D Max, a Reason Gaming holo sticker, as well as an iBuyPower holo sticker. I personally don't understand these random crafts, and then look at this, a Glock 18 candy apple with a bunch of Katowice 2014 stickers, just why? Like I know that the Katowice 14 stickers look good on the candy apple, but is that it? Either way, let's move on to the next skin, which is the StatTrack Desert Eagle Mecha Industries Factory New. It has four Team Dignitas Hollow Katowice 2014 stickers on it. These things are going for around $5,000, guys, and he just puts it on a Mecha Industries like it's nothing. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit because the Desert Eagle Mecha Industries is a pretty nice looking skin. Still, $20,000 on a Desert Eagle skin. It does look pretty shiny, though. But moving on, guys, he has a StatTrack M4A4 Azimov field-tested condition, of course, with a Titan Hollow Katowice 2014 sticker. Just decides to put it all the way in the back on the stock because why not? And then a couple other skins here, nothing too insane. And then he has another Talon knife, this time Stat Track Minimal Wear. And obviously a Blue Gem, just a random Stat Track MP9 Rose Iron with an LGB Sports Hollow Katowice 2014 sticker. Agent Ava, as well as the Doctor, Romanov Saber. And uh, he has, of course, the Howl patch on it because he is elite. A couple other patches, nothing too fancy. He has a Stat Track Mag 7 Memento. Factory new with four Fnatic Katowice 2014 normal stickers. They actually look pretty good, guys. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty nice combo. Just a random stat track SG pulse with a bunch of hollow Katowice 2014 stickers. And then here's where things get kind of interesting. He has a ton of just regular looking field tested Asimov skins. You know, what's so special about them? But upon further inspection of their floats, you'll see that each of them is point 
two five float on the dot zeros all around this guy spent a ton of money for this 0.25 float azimov collection so kudos to him but i can safely say that a ton of money was spent trying to gather these skins here he has another stat track desert eagle mecha industries this time with four ninjas in pajamas normal stickers katavitsa 2014 of course he also has the same sticker craft but on a stat track cc75 auto victoria factory new Pretty solid, pretty solid. Couple other agent skins, a nice Navaja knife blue gem, a bunch of Mag 7 silvers, souvenirs of course, and then four gold Apex Berlin 2019 stickers. Moving on to the next page, he has a ton of random skins with a ton of random stickers, like this one for example, a USPS stainless with a Titan hollow, or an AUG Torque factory new with three Team Dignitas hollow Katowice 2014 stickers. A nice AK-47 case hardened skin where the tip of it is blue and then the body is gold and then he puts gold stickers on it that's a pretty nice combo guys not gonna lie looking at all these skins and their name tags it's safe to assume that he got all these skins as gifts from friends or other collectors so i wish i had a rich friend here we have a stat trek cc75 auto polymer factory new with four devouring flame hollow stickers there's nothing really special about this combo i just really like how it looks and i wanted to share it with you guys and then here he has four katowice 2014 3d max normal stickers he's probably planning on putting them on skins. But if we turn the page, we're gonna see 12 normal ninjas in pajamas Katowice 2014 stickers. Each of these stickers, I believe, are going for around $300, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but they're still really rare, guys. And I'm really curious to see what he's gonna end up doing with these stickers. Is he gonna craft more skins, or is he just keeping them and trying to resell them later for a profit? His inventory continues on the next couple of pages, but there really isn't too much more to show, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe for more CSGO videos. So until next time, this is Fano, signing out.